are. Good morning, everybody. I do like a little bit of piano first thing on a Saturday morning. It's lovely, that, isn't it? I feel like we should do some sort of relaxation sort of uh, little uh, download. Anyway, how are you? It's Scotty here with you. Nice to have your company on the weekend. I uh, hope you're feeling chipper. Everyone had a good week? OK week? Not a bad week? Well, anyway, listen, I hope it's been a good week, and I hope it's going to be a fantastic weekend. If you are up and about with us first thing on a Saturday morning, it's lovely to have your company. Uh, early birds catching all the worms and all of that malarkey. While others snoozing, they are losing. So uh, nice to be with you, which is lovely. Um, we have got, of course, for you our starting off for the first show live, of course, is Saturday morning. We've got our weekend wow for you, uh, which we always have a fantastic offer on the weekend wow. And this weekend wow is going to take you right the way through the weekend, of course, but the prices will go up uh, as of Monday. Monday morning, so it's good to take advantage of these while you can. If you've missed them uh, when they were launched last night, then of course this is your chance to get in nice and early while we still have the stock at the prices we have. Uh, we've got some great demonstrations, of course, through this hour for you, so you can see how these work. We've also got a giveaway, of course, because it is our family favourites weekend, which is a, a big deal for us, of course, because we are only as good as our fantastic suppliers and businesses that we work alongside and in partnership with, of course. So if you make a purchase in this hour, uh, you will be entered into our prize draw, and there'll be one every hour throughout the weekend. So all you've got to do is make a purchase of anything that's on the show in this particular hour, and then our producer will make sure that there's a prize draw uh, pullout uh, by the end of the hour. You have to be checked out of your basket and made the purchase, and we will announce the winner, who will be walking away with this, I do believe. We've got a lovely picture for you. Should we do a little drum roll? Boom! Um, oh, there we are. Was, that, was you showing it then? Uh, oh, sorry. They've already shown it to you. Um, there you see that. But that's your chance to get the, the stamps, of course. It is from All and Create. They will be there for yours, uh, absolutely free in your prize draw. So good luck. Uh, you, it's all good news. I won't be doing the draw, so you've got a really good chance. Uh, now then, uh, what we've got for you, uh, we've got the Weekend Wow, which is absolutely phenomenal. And again, we will actually have the designer of these stamps for you doing the demonstrations for you. So let me just talk you through uh, what you're going to go for this, because the actual Weekend Wow is going to be giving you the chance to get all three of everything that you can see together in one big bundle and is uh, absolutely fantastic. Oh, sorry, sorry. Actually, the first, this is your first set. Uh, then I've got a chance for you to get all of this together if you wanted to. Um, the details for this, as you can see here, is absolutely beautiful. And it's really got a sort of a natural feel about this. You're going to get your stamp sets, which, of course, as you can see here, which is Enjoy the Journey, which has got uh, the notepads on there. You've got the, t uh, the comments about the dream, for example, about exploring. You've got the camera on there. They've got the suitcase on on there, which is lovely. And then staying with the whole idea of nature, we've also got for you two other lovely little creatures. We've got a gorgeous little beetle, uh, which is really fantastic. A lot of fun there. Um, it's got the phrasing on there that you can see. You've got that really sort of checkerboard kind of look as well that's broken up and great for all of your backgrounds you might want to be working. And again, that phrasing, of course, in Beetle uh, with the shadowing on there. Then we've also got the lovely little honeybee. It includes the little honey hive uh, that you can see. And you can see the honeycomb itself there. Uh, you've got uh, the terminology in there. The, you've got the um, pollen. You've got fly. You've got the numbers. And of course, you've got the lovely drawing of our honeybee itself. This is really lovely, actually, this fantastic one for the weekend. Wow, it's a really good deal for you and a good saving of six pounds on this. So it's only 49 pounds and 97 pence if you want to go for that. If you do do, uh, if you do do, if you do want to go for that one, uh, your item code is 899828 and that is just for those set three. Now, we've also got for you the Paint Your Dreams. And again, this is a separate set again. And we'll give you the chance to get all of these together. So listen up at the back. There'll be questions. Um, this is 257394. This is £23.98. This is going to give you two different sets of your A6 stamps, of course, you're here. You've got the Paint Your Dreams. You're starting off with your pen and ink. So you've got the lovely terminology. You've got creative. You've got the feathers, or exactly, with, of course, the little... Um, what, did they, what did they call them again when you did the, the quiz? isn't it? Yes. I, they, I know I didn't use them when I was at school. I didn't use them. Thank you. Thank you. It was Slate. It, I have done a Shakespeare play. It was Slate we was in. Uh, very good. Uh, very uh, eco-friendly. Um, and you've also got in there, uh, you've got the little splot. If you did use an ink, did you use an ink pen? Did you have an ink pen at school to do that? A little fountain pen. That I tell you what, I've got loads of those on bits of paper somewhere from my school days, but that ink blot is perfect on there and a lot of fun to use. So you've got there if you wanted to use that. You've also got for you 
the paint brush and you've also got the palettes on there and the different styles of brushes that will be used. So fantastic with the whole art, the creative feel. Perfect for anyone that's into their arts and craft with that. Of course, your different colours of the paints itself there. Colour outside the lines. Uh, love your terminology. £23.98. If you'd like to go for those, that's 257394. Now, we've also got for you, again, staying with the whole idea of nature, which is the birthday feel about this. So this is birthday blooms and think outside the box, which is always the best way to do it. No one wants to be contained in a box, do they? Um, and here, if friends were flowers, I would pick you, which is lovely, isn't it? Um, we said that line in Panto once, that if, uh, if, if, if you're a bogey, I pick you first. And that was Button's chat-up line to Cinderella. It didn't go well. Uh, it didn't go well. I don't know why. I don't know why. This is a much better, a much better sentiment to say that if friends were flowers, I would pick you. Oh, buttons. Oh, no wonder you're single. Right. Uh, you've got the lovely floral design, uh, beautiful flowers, uh, nice simplicity about those, beautiful look um, that you can go with, which is all part of the birthday blooms. And you've also got think outside the box. If you want to get this is all part of the same package, of course. Really nice. Again, you've got that sort of ink splat or splot. A splat or a splot? What would you call that? A splot, a splat, a splat. A splat. Sounds good, doesn't it? A splot. Whoa, they're both, they've both got a... Let me know. Splat or splot, which one works for you? Um, £24.98 if you'd like to go for that set, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, if you've been teased and tempted... If you have, what a great start to your weekend. Uh, then with everything, then do that. Go for the entire bundle, which is absolutely brilliant. And this has got a great opportunity for you with spreading the cost across the whole uh, caboodle, if you like. There's an unused, uh, underused word. Uh, you can do this on three flexi payments. So each payment here is just 29.64. So just for a few pounds more, if you're going to go for the weekend wow, you can actually get the whole lot that you can see here. Now, if you want to go for that, that will give you 40, 40, 40 stamps in total. Everything, of course, from the honeybee, you've got the beetle, you've got the beautiful journey, of course, you've got all the art, you've got the birthday, etc. All of that is 830113. Now, I can tell you, again, a good sign of good product is always having lots of samples to go with, and we've got plenty to share with you here. And I do love the idea. Honeybees, we, we'd be lost without them, literally, wouldn't we? Uh, without our honey booze. Honey booze? It's too early to start thinking about booze, surely, is it? No, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, uh, Tracy's design, and they are absolutely beautiful. The whole design set that you can see here. We're going to see some demonstrations. So here we've got some of the lovely honeybee that's in place. Uh, here using the beautiful beetle, um, which is absolutely gorgeous. I do love it. It's a great start. It's a really brilliant look. Uh, you've got the great way of working with the uh, camera, actually, on here. We've got the camera. Uh, this one with the uh, beautiful paint and of course an embroidered little embroidery hoop that's in there again with everything again crafty that you need on the inside let's bring you also the birthday uh, the birthday blooms uh, give you an idea of some of those that have been used here they really are there is so many great ways of working with all of these different designs which is i absolutely love i want to show you a couple of others here which is gorgeous not just for cards but also uh, in little journals, for example, I think this is a, a lovely look, really, really pretty. Um, gorgeous with the yellows. And on the inside, of course, you do get that with your honeybee. You do get the actual little mesh there, the little, um, little honeycomb on there as well, little honeybees. And this one, in a little tin, i show this, I thought this is great. Uh, see the little honeybee on the outside, and then when you open up, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Very, very pretty indeed. So if you want to go for the entire bundle, 29.64 across three play, uh, payments, you're making that 830113, which is lovely. Now, I've also got lots and lots of other of fantastic designs, all again designed by Tracy. And we are going to be going and showing you some demonstrations by Tracy in a second or so as well. But I want to just give you some ideas of what else we have on the show for you. So if you want to go for the uh, plant your dreams and also the garden tools, this is a set on its own. It will give you 22 stamps in total. Uh, uh, and again, you've got everything you need here from uh, all the gardening inputs. You need your little fork. You've got the little trowel in there. You've got that gorgeous little thistle. You've got our friendly, um, friendly little snail. We're going to call him Sid. Is that all right, Sid the snail? I think so. Uh, you've got dig, dig, dig uh, as your lovely sentiments in here. But again, lovely ideas again for the outdoors. 
And also staying with that, that whole theme, you can see why these go together, the plant your dreams, of course. You've also got in there that lovely sort of um, the pear, for example. You've got the plant the dreams uh, sentiments in there. And you've also got more of those lovely floral, well, wildflower kind of feel about those as well. Uh, it was absolutely gorgeous. Let me just show you around the back here so you can actually see the size of the stamps themselves because they are rather large and rather big that you are seeing. So really good images on whatever your project is that you are working with. £32.98. Got a £10 saving on this set, so a really good time to grab that this Saturday morning. 939936 is your item code. I love this. I love this. Uh, why, why, did the, um, why did the frog leave the library empty-handed? Because every book he'd read it, read it, read it. I know, I know. I'm here all weekend. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> Never mind. That's it. That's your weekend wow joke right there. And uh, when I knew this was coming up, since Tuesday, I've been working on that joke, uh, which is the real sad thing. Right, so you've got here a set of two of the A5 stamp set. You've got Ribbit Ribbit, and you've got the beauty of nature. Um, there's a splot splat in here again, making another feature. You've got the... Cr I do love this. Is this a, so you can have the... Was it a toad or frog again that was, uh, was kissed and then turned into a prince? This little frog, is it? That's a, that's a lovely little frog prince crown there I'm thinking of there. So you can put that on a little, little lily pad there. And you've got fairy tales coming true right before your very eyes. Uh, really lovely. Let me just turn this around, by the way, so you can see. But again, the detail on the frog itself is a real special. It's not just your normal uh, little Freddy frog there. Can't say that one. That's a chocolate bar. Another f f um, Fido frog. <laughs> What's his name? F say, who, Fabian? Fab... Fabian the Frog was our producer's uh, suggestion for that. She's had, she's had better, but um, just call him Fab for short, she says. I love it. It is Fab. He is lovely. Uh, so you've got Fabian the Frog. Easy to remember. And we've also got here uh, the beauty of nature. And I do love, again, this beautiful simplicity about these that work with that. And I do love the little trees. I think they are gorgeous with the spirals and the swirls working together. Twenty-five ninety-eight. Again, another £10 saving on this as a bundle. Two double five eight six eight. Two double five eight six eight is what we're looking at for those. Uh, we've also got for you um, some stencils as well that will work very, very nicely if you want to go for these. 738044 is going to give you two. Now, these are large, and I've seen these on the show I had once before, and they are big when you see them up close. A4 stencils, but they have got this. This is Elegance and Panache, and they are beautiful stencils to work with. £21.98. 738044. I've got a few more just to show you on the counter. Then we will give you a demonstration, of course, as how you can work with these. And I know that, Trace, we've got lots of demonstrations for you to, to have a little look at. So I know you're going to enjoy. Uh, let's take you through here. These are circled numbers and thistle. Again, we've got brilliant saving, £4 saving on these. But if you are looking again for that thistle idea, that theme that's there, again, great uh, uh, as a stamp that you can use um, on its own. You can use a lots of collective with this one as well and work it. But again, a really nice, large size uh, stamp itself. If I turn you around, you'll see that that is the entire of the size of that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, then, of course, you've got your wonderful numbers uh, that are circled with different sort of styles, again, all around, but a great background piece to use uh, for yourself, maybe for your journaling, uh, maybe on cards, um, or any other projects you might have. 980-438, only 15.98 for those. Now, again, if you were tempted by the stencils because you like the size of it and you also like the filigree, the lovely detail in there, then you're going to love this stamp. Uh, $24.99 gives you two really big stamps on these ones. These are your gorgeous A4 floral wings on their stamps. And I'm going to turn them around straight away so that you can actually see because they do have a wow factor that goes with those. Just look at the detail that's in here. The different designs of all the lovely little flowers, the petals, uh, the little vein, uh, veins in the leaves, etc. All of that there. And then, of course, that lovely detail, that bottom set, which has got so much in. Whether you're using all of that or part of that, great for backgrounds, whether you use them actually within the butterfly themselves. But I love that with the light bulbs, really different. Five, six, seven, four, seven, nine, only 24.99.
Uh, last but not least, I have got a seven-day savers for you, and of course it works and blends beautifully because it is, of course, another all-in create. So it's got a really good uh, saving on this one. Again, seven pound saving, and again, it ties in beautifully with everything else you've seen on the show. Was that sort of natural feel about this? This is your Just Grow. It'll give you five stamps, and if you've liked any of the other floral designs that we've had, again, all these, all designed by exactly the same person, of course, here from everything else. These ones are designed by Olga, but it carries it on beautifully with that whole theme of nature and floral. Uh, seven pounds saving at ten pounds and ninety nine pence only. Nine six three six seven seven. If you'd like to go for those, uh, don't forget any purchase that you make in this hour, you will be entered into the prize draw for our giveaway of this hour, and there'll be a giveaway every single hour. So make sure you stay with us throughout the weekend because you never know. Uh, you've got to be in it to win it, of course. So if you just make any purchase in this hour, we will draw out a winner by the end and you'll get a chance to own this all again with the all and create beautiful designs in there. I love the locomotion, absolutely brilliant. Not the dance, not, not a big fan of, not, not a big fan of Kylie, uh, but that is absolutely brilliant. Um, by the way, if you are watching with us on Facebook Live, a very good morning to you. I hope you all well. Uh, Diamond, hello, Diamond, Krista, how are you doing? Lovely to have your company. Lovely Heather is there with us as well this morning. Lovely to be with you as well. Uh, Dawn, thank you so much, Steve, for making us uh, your website of choice as well. It's absolutely brilliant to be with you all. Right, uh, I'm going to hand you now over to the lovely Tracy who will take you through more of our demonstrations but don't forget pop this in your basket make sure you've got them checked out by around about quarter to the hour and then we can make sure that you have a chance of winning from the prize draw so without any further ado let's hand over to lovely Tracy hello everybody welcome back I hope you're enjoying the weekend wow um, this time around I'm actually showcasing the honeybee I love the honeybee stamp I love the size of the stamps. This is actually the packaging. If I bring in the stamp, then we can see the size of the stamps a little bit better. So if I turn that round, you can see the size of the stamps a little bit better. We've got the beehive, which is a really good size. Nice background stamp, which is a really good size as well. And it's got that those wordings in there as well. Fly, bee, pollen. It's got some different elements in there. And the bee, the honey bee, I absolutely love. It's a really good size. And then you've got a flower as well. And then this flower sentiment here would look fantastic enameled, but that would go with any of my stamp sets that you've bought previously as well. So we're going to use the bee stamp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin, let's just move all this packaging out of the way, with a circular piece because I want to create a circular canvas piece that I can add to a circular canvas afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to score at one inch intervals. So I'm going to score down my, hopefully you can see this if I move that up a little bit. So I've just done the seven inch mark. I'm just going down at one inch intervals. Just going down my card at one inch intervals. firm pressure just so that we can make sure that we've got a good a good score line I'm using a 300 GSM cardstock so I've got a good sturdy cardstock that can take a lot of battering as I call it so that's perfect so it's up to you whether you score at one inch intervals or you score at half inch intervals whichever you prefer but for this one I'm scoring at one inch intervals and then I'm just going to redefine those score lines. So I'm just going around redefine the score lines just so that we've got some nice crisses like so all the way along the cardstock. And because I'm using that good sturdy card so stock, sock, stock, can't speak, cardstock, it means that it can take quite a bit of of work and manipulation so just plunk that out of the way so now that we've got our card stock I've got all the bits from my craft sheet all from the previous demonstration so what I'm using now is I'm using my vintage photo distress oxide ink so you could use your vintage photo just distress ink it doesn't have to be oxide it can be any of them um, and then just move this out of the way a little bit like so 
we can then apply the Distress Oxide across the background and it will pick up the raised areas of those crease lines so it, it gives it sort of a lovely panel effect so if you turn your card round you will then hit different areas on your cardstock you can hit different areas I was going to add a darker colour as well just to give it a different depth and layer of colour so keep turning your card around just so that you get a whole different you're touching different areas of your card and what's good with the, this technique is if you've got some dry ink pads dry ink pads work really well they work really well just use a nice delicate touch don't try and press too hard because then you're going to lose the effect so don't press too hard with your ink pads give it a nice light touch and it works perfectly just move your card around and I think I'm quite happy with that so we just and what we can do is we can just distress those edges a little bit so you can distress the edges with your scissors just to give it a distressed feel to the edges just add a distressed touch to that just distress, distresses the edges can you tell I can't get my words out at the moment it distresses the edges a little bit before we add it to a canvas and then what I'm going to do is just reach over for a piece of cut and dry foam and then I'm just going to blend a little bit of that colour around the outside edges and as you can see I'm lifting the card up because I don't want to blend it over the card I'm just blending it across the edges so it just gives a little touch I don't want to detract from that sort of wood panelling effect so I'm just adding a touch of colour to the edges of the card just to add, add to that distressed feel or also it gives it a professional touch if you just remember the edges as well so that's perfect that's all I need so what I'm going to use then is I'm going to use the uh, little A7 stamp set that's also in the weekend wow uh, and I love it because you can just add random touches of this if you like it doesn't have to be the whole stamp so all I'm going to do is I'm going to use it as it is just as a background element just a background element to my design and just adding little 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 touches of the background you may not pick it up on camera this is where I get like my little teacher scissors out but you can see it's got a little detailed effect here just so that you can see you can see it in the background and I love the fineness of the lines the lines are not too over the top because I don't want anything too too much over the top with having that wood panelling in the background I just want some little background elements just to add another layer to my card that's all I want to do just add another layer so just add just stamping around randomly and if you've got a nice text stamp that would work quite well as well so what we can do now is we can actually shabby it up a little bit we can shabby the background up a little bit so what we're going to do now is use a touch of cream paint a touch of cream paint and then we're just going to bray some of that paint over the background and I'm just going to add a light layer and all it does is it sort of gives it a shabby feel it sort of it adds to the vintage feel but it gives it a touch of shabby I really like that it sort of tones everything down I quite like that effect so just reach for a wipe I'm trying to remember to clean up after myself so that I don't have too much of a mess doesn't always work but I keep trying and I'm recycling my kitchen roll so just move that and then I'm just going to give the background a little dry when we spritz it with water so I'm just going to plug that in and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spritz the background with a little bit of water just because that oxide will react with that water even though we've added that layer of paint as well it'll still react with the water 
can you see it, you, that it just that card just shows you how much moisture you add even when you add a light spritzing of water so we can then give that a dry and if you look here you can see that we've got a couple of splatters there which is quite nice so if you want you can splat you can splatter again with more water if you want just to add to the aged feel just give that a dry and because we're, we're adding moisture where you've stamped it gets brighter because it reacts with the water and I love that I love the fact that we've got a few of those age pieces in the background just turn that over so you can dry it from the other side as well because that will just straighten your card out a little bit Just one more bit there and you just see that you've got a lovely detail in the background and you've got a little splatter here as well and what you can do is you can go back to your little A7 stamp and the little A7 stamp has got some splatters on so now you can add some of your own splatters to the background with your little A7 stamp which is perfect because now we've added that moisture and we've got natural splatters with the water it now fits in perfectly so we're just adding a splatter from the a7 stamp set and i'm just using a light color because i don't want to have anything to be too overpowering in the background so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to use another piece of card while we've got our scoreboard out and then if we just place this on our scoreboard, see if we can move some stuff out the way just so that you can see what I'm doing, which is usually a benefit. And then I'm just going to add score lines at half inch intervals, half inch intervals. So a little bit different this time, half inch intervals rather than inch like we did before. Sometimes it's nice to make some simple backgrounds with your stamps and the stamps work so beautifully with so many different techniques and i just love the fact that in the show today there are so many stamps that work together and that also work with your previous purchases so they all combine beautifully together so there we've got that and then i'm going to just age that a little bit more like we did with the circular piece just age that a little bit just add a few distress edges to the card let's add a few little tears as well just to give it that aged feel just add a few tears one part of it will be covered up so it won't matter too much and then what we're going to do is apply the same technique that you did before for this background piece just add some background detail with your ink pad just apply that ink and keep moving your ink pad around just so that you hit different areas okay and then again spritz that with water just so that you can add a few splatters and it just adds to that aged feel and then i'm just going to reach for the background stamp that's this stamp here that we've got in the honeybee lovely background stamp i love that stamp just give this a dry and i love how the oxide really catches the scored lines i love how it catches that i keep losing my kitchen roll i keep chucking it over there and then losing my kitchen roll i'm good like that so just give that a dry and then what you want to do is just crease it a little bit just to add a few creases just add a few creases so it looks a bit more aged so it doesn't look as perfect so just add a few more creases and then go over again with your distress oxide just so that it adds to that aged feel and highlight those creases with your distress oxide there we go it looks a bit more aged now it looks a bit more aged which is what I quite like and if you remember the technique from the 
previous demo with the camera where we used the beeswax, the vintage beeswax, that would look really good with the honeybee as well. But I didn't want to do that today with the honeybee because I've done that before on a Facebook Live. So I thought you could have a look at the camera demo in a previous in the previous show and then you can look and maybe do that technique with the honeybee as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the background stamp and I'm get this time I'm going to take ground espresso and I'm going to add some of the stamping from the background stamp on the honeybee and add that to the background. It's a perfect background stamp. And this time I'm not using the wording at the moment, I'm just using the background element of the honeycomb. So I'm just using that and it just gives a lovely touch of the background. It adds lovely layers to the background. So as you can see, what we can do now is bring in the circle and make sure that so that it's a cohesive design, you can add some of this same background to the circular piece. So make sure we've got that straight. So I'm just adding some darker stamping with the ground espresso over the top, just to give it another layer. So if I add a light layer like I have done with the vintage photo, and then the ground espresso on the top, you can still see that all those layers are visible. I love that. Is I absolutely love uh, that whole idea. Actually, was doing that with those uh, with the lines there and bringing that across. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Uh, hopefully, it's given you some inspiration already. First thing this Saturday morning, if you are just tuning in, lovely to have your company. We will have more demonstrations from Tracy and on very very shortly indeed. Uh, we have got our weekend wow for you um, to show and to share with you, which is absolutely fantastic and already proving very very popular. This, of course, will be with you for the whole of the weekend. And also, I want to remind you: if you make any purchase in this hour, you will be entered into our prize draw. Tell you more about that in a moment for you. Um, what we've got here though for you is the weekend wow and there are plenty of stamps in here and those that you're seeing being worked with. Actually you're going to get a set of three different altogether. You've got enjoy the journey. You've got here as you can see with the suitcase in there, destination, journey, travel, be free, memories, dreams, capture every moment. You've also got the lovely little scroll in there of course all time with the ribbon and you've also then of course got your beautiful old styly camera for those uh, any millennial in there thinking what is that? That's what we used to use. That's what we had before you had phones that could do it for you. Uh, then we've also got two of Mother Nature's, uh, of course, little creatures. We've got our gorgeous beetle, which is a great look to this as well. Really nice. It's got that sort of checkerboard uh, finish as well on there to use if you want to use that all the way through. Uh, different elements of, of course, in there. But you've got the lovely inset with the terminology beetle. As you heard, uh, Tracy was talking about how you could use that as well. You've also got there the beautiful honey bee. And that, of course, gives you the honeycomb. It gives you the little um, honey bee's house, of course. Um, and you've also got the actual honey bee itself there. Uh, 49.97 for you. 899828. It is available on FlexiBuy if you want to go for two payments of just £24.99. We've also got a chance for you if you want to go for the complete set. So that will give you everything you're going to see in the weekend wow. Plus, you're also going to be getting other stamps in that also includes now giving you up to 40 different stamps all combined. And that's going to give you um, your look of your um, pen and ink. You've also got in here paint your dreams. All of those are part of that as a complete set, which is lovely. You've also got the birthday blooms uh, that is just over here. And you've also got fish outside the box. Now if you want to go for all of that, it's only a few pound more on your payments because actually we can spread that of course over your uh, three payments of £29.64. If you want to go for the entire bundle it's 830113. I will say that is proving very very popular. A lot of people are going for the entire bundle there. I'm not surprised there's some big savings to be had as well. I've also got for you and again, a lot of people are adding this into their basket, which is the seven-day saver. And it's a lovely one. Again, it follows on with that whole idea of Mother Nature working here, as you can see, with all the gorgeous florals that are coming through here. This is Just Grow. It's got a £7 saving on this set of stamps here, so it's down to just £10.99. You've got some lovely scripts in here. You've got the lovely detail of all the petals as well. And that's 963677. A lot of people are adding that into their basket. Of course, that seven-day saver will be closed 
closed, of course, uh, tomorrow it will be gone for a new one to take its place. 963677. Uh, we've also got Plant Your Dreams, staying with the whole idea that you can see with this beautiful idea of Mother Nature working. And again, I want to just flip this over so you can see because these are really lovely big stamps that you've got on here. So again, if you're using just one of those as a feature, uh, or you're using, of course, for the sentiments that are in here, or using those multiples of these in your background, for example, then you're going to be able to use these time and time and time and time again. But you've got really big sizes on these. 32.98 will give you 22 stamps in total. 9.39.9.36. We've got Rivet Rivet. Don't worry, I won't do any more reading library frog jokes or anything like that. Uh, we've got Fabian here. Um, our be well, that's how we've named him. Um, and we've got the large and the small of our little frog, or big frog. Uh, but most important thing, unlike any other, you can see the detail that is beautiful on the chest of our frog here, of course, as well. I love that. Uh, you've got a nice sort of doodle feel about this as well that's going through uh, that you can see here with the nature. Uh, again, loving that with the little tree. Really lovely effect on that. Nice and simple. We can have a big, big look on that uh, with your sentiments in here, and you've also got your terminology of ivy, for example. Two double five eight six eight twenty five pounds ninety eight. Uh, thistles, 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 and you've got your numbered circles here. Um, this, thistles do look lovely, but they are quite prickly, aren't they? And I've been, I've done a few walks out in our countryside recently, and I'm not, I'm not a big fan of nettles. I've had a few of those and my legs have been out this so far in this uh, lockdown. Not good on the old knees and a few stings. Thistles are a bit scratchy, but they do look lovely. Are they the national flower of Scotland, aren't they? Is it a thistle? I think it is the National Scottish uh, Flower, I think it is. Um, but absolutely beautiful, um, with all the lovely background you've got to that. And you've also got your circled numbers in here. 980438, only £15.98. and pence. Uh, One of the largest stamps we do have for you on the show, of course, is our beautiful butterflies here. And these are beautiful. Um, getting you four stamps in total here, A4 size that you can see. The floral wings are exactly that. They are spectacular uh, as a feature or even to work on background segments of or the entirety. You have a lot and lots of fun with those. 24 567 Four seven nine. Of course, don't forget, make sure that you are participating in every hour we've got for you this weekend because we have got our giveaway for you. So make sure you've got your purchases in your basket and checked out before round about quarter to the hour. Right, so before any further ado, though, let's hand straight back over to Tracy and continue on with our demonstrations. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is add this here, like so. So this will be like my vintage piece. And then what I'm going to do as I'm going to add a piece of wood because I think a piece of wood is quite natural it's got a natural feel to it so I think that will work quite well with our piece so what I'm going to do is apply the distress vintage photo to my non-stick craft sheet spritz with water and then I'm going to mop up a little bit of that ink with my wood which will be quite absorbent but I want it to look just like that, just so it looks quite aged. It's got like a honey feel to it as well. Just dry my non-stick craft sheet, just so that it's not quite as wet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this here, so we can adhere this now. We'll adhere this here. I'm just making sure that I've got exactly what I want. And what we're going to add to this is our lovely honeybee. So just place that there and I love adding layers to the design. I just think when you make it quite textural, it's lovely. I love adding the layers. So just make sure you've got these curved pieces, even though that'll be slight, that piece will actually be slightly covered up. So what you need to do is tear a piece of this and then add a bit of vintage photo there. Just tear a bit of that page. So this is what we're aiming for. So what we can do now is we can stamp onto the wood. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use brown. I'm quite liking the brown tones. So I'm going to incorporate VersaFine Claire Acorn. And I'm going to take the background stamp from the honeybee and I'm going to stamp the whole, well, most of it anyway, that will fit on there. And again, I'm not using an acrylic block. I'm using it as is because it gives me a more random stamping. And then I'm going to stamp straight onto 
my background of the wood and it'll just give me a more random feel as you can see and I love that absolutely love it the background stamp is so lovely so just add a little bit more there we go and look you've got a lovely piece of wood that coordinates perfectly with the project because you've got that natural element in there and you've still got lots of layers that you've added as well so just make sure that that's reasonably straight and then what I'm going to do is take a spare piece of card take a spare piece of card a spare piece of card so we can stamp our honeybee and what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe across the card very lightly with fossilised amber distress oxide and then I'm going to take my honeybee and stamp on top of the distress oxide so stamp the honeybee and it's a lovely size bee I love the size of it so it, it can stand alone as a focal image it looks beautiful so just stamp our honeybee in the background And just look at the detail on that. I just think that is a lovely honeybee. I think it's gorgeous. And I've already cut one out and I've already 3D'd the wings. Just so that you can see that. We've already 3D'd the wings. And what I'm thinking is I can, ha I can, we'll add, I can add a little skeleton leaf on the top of my... I'm, I'm, I bet there's lots of us that have got that have got skeleton leaves in our collection. So I'm just going to add the skeleton leaf. Maybe try and get it the right way, Tracy. So I'm just going to add some adhesive, just a few dots down the centre of the skeleton leaf. And I'm going to add that to my project. And what's good about the skeleton leaf is, because it's translucent, you can still see the detail behind in that stamping. So I love that. And what I want to do is I always sort of mess around with the, the layout first. I always decide where I want it. And this is where the B is going to go. So I'm going to adhere it there. Yes, I absolutely love it. So I'm going to adhere my piece of wood. And I'm just using my PVA glue to adhere the piece of wood because the piece of wood, the, the wood slice isn't heavy. So that's absolutely fine. It can take the weight because it's not too much weight for the glue. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my B here. And I wanted to just make sure the top wings were a bit lighter in colour so they didn't dissolve into the background. So I'm just let's add a few cotton fibres as well. A few cotton fibres just to add a lovely texture in the background of the B. So this is just your normal cotton thread. So I'm just adding a good thick layer of the cotton and just spread that out a bit, bring it together and then make sure you just adhere a little piece of that cotton just so that it doesn't float around. Just make sure you adhere some of it with your PVA. Add a little touch of the glue to your bee and then you can add that there and you can just hold that down like so. Look how that bee is a good strong focal image. I just love how it's a good strong focal image and it really does stand out especially with having the white of the wings just to give some contrast and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add some cream paint. So I'm going to add a few scratchy lines to my background just to bring in another texture which I will lift up so that you can see but this just adds another texture to my design sometimes you can't see it on camera until I lift it up so I will lift this up so you can see this element in the design so just sometimes I get carried away and forget that I'm on camera and that I need to bring it in so you can see so add a touch of that cream paint to the wood as well, just so we don't forget that wooden element so it looks like it's part of the project. 
So we'll just wipe that up now. And then I can hold that up so you can see. We haven't quite finished yet. As you can see, you've got those cream elements of paint. You've got them here in the background and here and here and on your wooden wooden panel as well. So what I'm going to do now, just make sure my B is straight, and then I'm going to add a touch of the calico. So what I want to do is bring in this background stamp again, but this time I'll just add it to an acrylic block just to give me some stability. So I'm just going to add that to an acrylic block, one of the All and Create acrylic blocks. And now we can stamp some of these words, and this time I'll stamp them in black. So I'm going to stamp the word pollen, so we can add the word pollen. Move these out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Nearly knocked my heat tool over then. So I'm just going to stamp the word pollen on there. So there's one. So this will add another textural element to my design. And I try and make it so all my projects sort of flow. So you can see it, it, the same elements throughout in the designs, but each one looks different. So I'm going to add the word pollen here. So add that and I'm going to add another word as well. I'm not just going to leave it to the one word. So add pollen to our background like so. And I love how all the elements are still visible. You can see all the textures below. Let's take another piece of the calico and this time we'll add the word B. That's what I like when you hide words inside the backgrounds because you can use it as a background element but you can also use it by using parts of the elements. So I do like it that you can break the stamp up a little bit. It, it, it really appeals to me. So I'm now going to add this B here and look how it adds that wonderful texture to your design. So add the B element and I love all those loose fibres because that gives me another texture as well. So add the B here like so. And then if we have a look at the stamp set, I can just bring the stamp set in on the actual uh, beehive you can see it says bees and it says protect so I'm going to use one of the words on from there as well so just because we've got a beehive doesn't mean I can't use a little bit of that text on the beehive it's so that's why I like stamps they're so versatile they're so versatile in how you can use them and I'm going to use this and try and wing it without an acrylic block and just add the protect to my calico and look at that look how it stamps on the fabric just perfect I just love how it stamps just take this we're going to tear I always tear my calico because I like how it's a an unneat the edge is frayed and it adds to that natural feel of everything that we're doing so protect we're going to add here i love adding these little little touches the little touches are what i spend most of my time doing that and layering up the backgrounds we all have our own style and i, and I just like to stick to to what i enjoy and adding layers and things is, is what i enjoy the most and then what i've got is i've got a couple of these um, index clips which I'm going to add to my design and I'm going to add one here I will add a touch of paint to these index clips just so they feel part of the project so I'm going to add an index clip there just think these little embellishments just finish it off nicely and I'm going to add and I always like to think about where I'm going to add my designs so I'm going to add another index clip here like so there we go just add one more there and we will add a touch of paint to that because I think if you add a touch of paint it looks like it belongs to the project it looked like it looks like it's 
it's part of it so just add a touch of paint I pulled out way more paint than I needed but there you go but then that's given me an idea I'm just going to add oh yes a little little touches of the paint around the outside of the canvas piece and it's funny how things just as you're working and as you're creating you feel more inspired to add a few more touches I always feel inspired to add little touches and I'm just adding touches of this paint around the outside of the circle with my finger just to shabby it up a little bit oh yes I like that I've now lost my baby wipe I'm trying to use it over and over again let me just chuck that in the bin just bring in this and then what I've got is my lovely friend Anne who's done some samples for me in the show hopefully as I'm recording this I'm hoping they will have arrived but Anne, the lovely design team have done some fantastic um, samples so they really bring them the, the the samples to life but my my lovely friend Anne sent me this a little bee charm which I think is beautiful so what I'm going to do is what we can do is we can color that we can color that little charmed piece with some alcohol ink just so that it's not quite as bright it's perfect if you're using a color scheme that needs a bright silver but mine needs something a bit darker just to and that's perfect so i'm just using a ginger alcohol ink just so it coordinates with the rest of my project and then it's just deciding where i want this beautiful embellishment and i'm probably going to add that here i won't add it for now because i want the rest of it to dry and if i bring in a circular canvas this is my circular canvas and if you add the circular canvas piece to your circular canvas and adhere it you've got your project and what we can do is we can add some lovely white splatters because it's not a tracy project unless you've got a few white splatters on your project just a few touches of white let's get that pen going a little bit just so we can add some splatters hopefully the camera's not shaking too much but what you can see is that you end up with a lovely layered piece but that B takes center stage but I love it with the wooden element and the fact that you've got that text in the background you've got a little bit there that says protect I just love the touches of calico I really enjoyed making that and really it was going with the flow and adding different bits each time it's easier sometimes to get the camera angle and other times not so easy so I'm just trying to move it around a bit not to make you dizzy but just to show you all the detail in the canvas I hope you enjoyed that demo and I'll see you back again shortly bye we will indeed, and I do have that finished piece, of course, that Tracy's work on there, and it really is beautiful, and that is just one of the ways, of course, you can work with this. There is so much in the, uh, that you can do with the whole the whole collection if you wanted to. It's absolutely brilliant. If you actually want to go for the stamp set on the Honeybee on its own, you can do the details of that on the bottom of your screen, 241896, but absolutely lovely. More demonstrations later on, of course, uh, that we can show you from Tracy. Uh, now, of course, it is our family favourites weekend, which is always uh, a lovely big hit, and as our way of saying, thank Thank you to all the wonderful suppliers that are working alongside us here at Hachanda. And every hour there will be a prize draw. All you have to do is make a purchase in that hour. And then by the time it comes about quarter to the hour, make sure you've checked out your basket. And we will, at random, collect one. And we have got a winner from this hour. Uh, so congratulations uh, to Elaine Mabbott. Well done indeed to you. Uh, there we go. We just pressed the wrong button there. Uh, congratulations, Elaine Mabbott. You are the winner. You're going to get the All and Create stamp set that you can see there on your screen well done and thank you for your purchase thank you for taking part and supporting of course uh, all the businesses that are making uh, her chanda uh, what we are uh, and we'll be another prize draw in the next hour so don't worry if you didn't get involved or you didn't win this time there'll be more to come for you now 
Of course, the weekend, wow, there is so much in there that you can see. You've got the uh, Enjoy the Journey, you've also got the Beetle, and you've got the Honey Beam. Uh, brilliant opportunity. If you want to go for the entire bundle, again, you can go for all of that. Spread those costs, of course, over three payments if you go for the entire bundle. Uh, and it only works out just a couple of, of pounds more each month for you to do that for you. 899-828 if you want to go for the weekend, wow. Or if you want to go for the entire set, you can do 830-113, and that will give you 40 stamps in total. There's so much in here, there really is, and some lovely pieces. The more you look at it, uh, the more you see one of those. Uh, listen, it's been lovely having your company for this last hour. Don't go anywhere. Paola's going to take you through the next hour for you, and we'll take you uh, tag-teaming together through your Saturday morning. So please, please, please stay tuned. Let's get yourself a brew and, uh, and enjoy your weekend with us here. But thanks for watching. She went a bit heavy-handed with the pink, didn't she? Right, anyway, speaking of pink, it's Pink Frog Crafts. It's the one-day special coming up for you next. Then I'll be back with you then at nine with your family favourites, Jewelry Box, all here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all the fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture of this shows on Achanda. I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hochanda News! We're excited to announce that from the 1st of July, our broadcast hours on Freeview will be extended to 10pm each day. We know that many of you have been missing our live shows in the evenings and we look forward to having you with us once again. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month.
Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hochanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hochanda family. Good morning. Uh, now, of course, we have got the one day special and it is one of our fam uh, family favorites. Of course, it is Pink Frog Crafts. Now, we have got uh, our indie event of the family favorites, which are, uh, of course, it's an event. That means that every live hour has got a giveaway. To enter, simply you need to make a purchase during the live hour. And of course, you'll be automatically entered into the competition for, for, to win that giveaway. But you must check out your masks before uh, stand to the, the, end, the end of the hour. So we will kind of give you a time update towards the end of course now for this hour we have got the uh, the giveaway is going to be um, the complete corner that I said okay so that's going to be of course you can we can see it in there and it's, it's going to come up yeah there it is the corner die set and you can see how different sizes and of course it will give you also some of them that stitch detail perfect in of course to add die cutting and stitch detail in there right of course from pink frog crafts now we have got a fabulous guest of course we have in the studio and it's her name is hazel Eaton. if you haven't seen her uh, yet here she is hello how are you? Very good, thank you. You? Yep. Yes. Now we are. Very, I'm very well, thank you. I'm very happy to see you here because uh, Hazel, I have known her for years, and she's very inspirational, and she brings that inspiration onto the, of course, the one day special. on before we go, kind of looking at what exactly are we going to be looking at during the, today? So we've got all the instructions to make these beautiful frames. So it could be any size you want. You're, you're in control, basically. But on top of that, it's such a bumper kit, you get everything that um, you've got instructions to make your 15 by 42 cards, which Pink Frog are very well known for. We've got our 15 by 30s, and then we've also got our 20 by 40s. So between all of that, there's like about 26 different card folds. On top of that, you're going to get your instructions for your frames. On top of that, you've got all Karen's instructions for bags and bottle bags, pizza bags, there's so, so much. It's such a bumper set. And that's what we try to do. Put all the ingredients so that you'd got everything around you that you needed to create. Now, of course, we do have got a one day special option. However, there is a complete collection. The complete collection is includes, of course, everything that the one day special uh, contains, plus uh, the same amount of cardstock also in black. So, but that I need to tell you, we are in limited, uh, limited stock. If you want to get this bumper pack, you need to check out right now to make sure that you're getting. And yes, it looks like beautiful matte black, but it's just all the sizes. And of course, the, the one day special is just the white card, um, not the black one, but of course you are getting the dies, the chrysanthemum dies, you are getting the pillar of light in A4 size. Look at that, isn't that extraordinary? It's not like the rainbow card, but it is the pillar of light. Look at that reflection in there. I'm not moving it, and already you can see that beautiful shiny colors coming through. Now they sold out, uh, the one day special did sell out uh, last night because we were incredibly busy. And, but it is back now on, uh, on the, standard, the extended delivery on the 3rd of July. 
Now, what do you get in the one day special is instructions to create as well these frames. Look at how beautiful those frames are. Look at beautiful. Now, that is a chrysanthemum die that is included in the one day special. Those frames, look, I need to show you this one because I am completely in love. And by the way, if you are really interested in how to do this one, Hazel does a workshop. So do inquire with Hazel because, it's, of course, this is something that would take a lot of, you know, expertise but however the instructions will show you how to make smaller boxes as well or shadow boxes and remember that with those dies look at that how gorgeous I believe uh, Hazel did that one at low, uh, either at six or eight did you remember when you did a card? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Right. So if you want to see how Hazel did this card, you can watch on Rewind on her channel.com and see exactly step by step how it's done. But look at that cake. I believe Caroline uh, from the office, from Pig Frog Crafts uh, made this one. And you can see the chrysanthemum dies. How gorgeous. How all that detail. How can you see how amazing these flowers are? How realistic. And it is exactly the same die that kind of creates that clean and simple card. So this is incredible, uh, you know, incredible one day special. Now, what do we exactly get? So we get the pillar of light, this extraordinary uh, kind of glossy card. You are getting 10 A4 sheets. Then your 12 by 12s. Uh, you are getting 20, uh, 25 of the 12 by 12s. Your A3s. You are getting 20 of the, of course, we are talking super smooth white card stock here, 300 GSM. Then you're 20 by 40. You are getting 20 of them. Then you have got the 15 by 42 centimeters, which you are getting 25. And finally, I believe you're getting 50 of the uh, 15 by 30 centimeters. All of that is 300 GSM, is super smooth, which means that then there are things like different techniques that you can do in there. This is how it reacts with different mediums. Think about your spritzes, think about your stamps, think about having a go, -go to cardstock in which even brushes, kind of getting your blending distress oxides, having your archival inks and ice ink stamping, Just having a white card that does all that you need for your, you know, paper crafting. Personally, it's one of my you know, my go-to super smooth card. Now, I need to tell you now that the complete collection now has completely sold out. Well done to everybody who has gone it, got it. Now, we have got it back on extended delivery and it will be dispatched from the 3rd of July, which is, I believe, it's next Friday. So it's not that long to wait at all. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if the 3rd of... Yeah, yeah, it is, it's a Friday, it is seven days. Uh, right, kind of... Now, look, I kind of show... I want to show you as well all the different sizes that you will be able to achieve. Now, if you go for the complete collection, you will be able to ha do exactly these frames following the instructions that are on the one-day special, not only in white, but also in the black card. Now, do you remember the black card is the true black card stock from Pink Frog Crafts? And it, remember, is actually acid and lignin free, which means that if you have got any projects like memory boxes or memory books and things like that, it's a perfect you know, card to work with. I think the black card is 280 GSM, but the one day special, remember, is the white card stock in here that you can see with the pillars of lights and, of course, the dice included as well. Let's not forget the dice. Now we are 40% of the extended delivery stock uh, already gone. It did sell out last night. We managed to get some more, but now already 40% of the stock gone. Remember that FlexiBuy option to your, your, uh, you are, can pay two interest-free payments of 23 pounds. And of course you can, uh, you have got that saving of 10 pounds, whether you pay one of payment or just, uh, just to spread the cost. 222-775 is your item number. Now our, our true black option. Now if you just, if you just like black and a lot of black, this is phenomenal. And I kind of say, you also get in actually, uh, well, well, let's put it in here. Where are the dice? Oh, I can find them here. Let's, let's grab the dice. 
Yes. Now, if you just go for the black uh, car sock option, you also are going to get a set of the chrysanthemum dies. Personally, I'm very, 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 very fond of this uh, black heart because, for instance, I had to do a memory album for a friend, a dear friend of mine, and this is the car sock I went to. It's beautiful. It's 280 gsm, so it means construction card. It's a sm it's a smooth. It embosses. It kind of it kind of when you are using the Teflon tools, the scoring is absolutely perfect. You also can do a lot of techniques because, of course, it is that kind of a smooth surface. But also, look at that. I mean, you are going to get, remember, the instructions to create something like that. And you also are getting the pillars of light car sog. So you can see in here that it's not just you know, black art is the knowledge that Hazel has put into the one day special. So you have got all the instructions on how to make it. Now, of course, you are getting 10 sheets of the pillar of light. Then of your A3, you are getting uh, 20. Then you are getting 25 of the 12 by 12. Then of your uh, 15 by 20 centimeter, no, sorry, uh, 20 by 40, you're getting 20. Your 15 by 42, you are getting 25, and your 15 by 30, you are getting 50. And imagine, so it's 150 sheets in total, plus the dies, plus the, of course, the inf instructions. Uh, remember that you are getting 26 uh, card folds, as well as the instructions on how to create these amazing boxes. Once that you have got your boxes, then you can decorate your techniques. Bring in all the knowledge, the crafty knowledge of how to maybe bring your uh, your distress, texture, pace, and things like that. Build them up. And look, the dies, these are the chrysanthemum dies included in this option. If you want to go for this, if you are a Freedom member, you have got a 14 pounds, uh, 10 pence, and of course the price is 59 pounds and 99 pence anyway a 65 pounds and 99 pence is a price for uh, if you're not a freedom member if you are 59 pounds and 39 pence three four four five two zero right the complete collection is one is one of the most popular ones here we have got the option everything that you are getting one set of dice that's important to uh, I reiterate that you are gonna get one set of dice but you are getting is it 20 of the pillar of light? And then, of course, you, then you are getting the same amount of the black car stock as the white car stock that we have referenced earlier. 84 pounds and 99 pence is the price. Remember, it did sell out earlier, so we managed to get some in a stock back on this patch from the 3rd of July. You have got a flexi-buy option, which means that you can spread the cost in three interest-free payments of 28 pounds and 33 pence. The saving is massive. It's 24 pounds. But also, it means that you open up a flexi buy, uh, a flexi order, which means that you can then put other items in there, and it will kind of spread the cost and uh, you know into three payments. Already, 10% of the stock of the restock has already gone. So grab yours by checking out your baskets. Right? That is not all that we have got. We have got even more bargains for you. We have got a happy hour, uh, happy hour um, deal here. And this one makes me really happy because I do like a big pot of glue. A whole liter of Colal glue. And we have got, basically, I'm going to put, you're not getting the smaller one, but just to show you, this is a standard size. And you can see it's 100 ml. So basically, this is the equivalent of 10 of these bottles. This is a standard size that I use. You are getting 10. What I would do is decant from the one liter to my smaller bottle. So uh, it's easier for me to handle, but you don't have to. You have got a nozzle in here. You can still use it straight out of the bottle. I love the Colal glue because it gives me, um, you know, um, time to maneuver, to place exactly my pieces of cards. And once it dries, it's one of those glues that dries rock hard. It really gives it such a stability and a strength to your projects. And then also with this one, you are getting two of the quickie glue pens. And these ones, again, as soon as they came out, uh, you know, I kind of went, my, well, I always have them in my stash because they are ones that when you apply it, they become, it's a kind of a bluish tone, but it dries clear, but it dries clear 
to a tacky finish, which means if you are like a little bit of gilding flakes, when it is tacky, that is the perfect glue to do it. Now, if you want to go for this bundle, remember it's a happy hour deal, which means that the price will only stay at this low price until the end of the hour. So grab yours, your the new, the item number, I don't know what happened there, 065991 is your item number, 19 pounds and 90 pence is the price. Look at that saving, 18 pounds saving, it's, it is a massive saving. And also glues, we love the adhesives. Now for a lot of, of course, the boxes, the reliner tape are amazing. Now here you have got four rolls, but they are deceiving rolls because each do each roll contains six five meter rolls, basically. So you, you know what, I, you are getting 30 meters in each of these rolls. So it means that you have got, uh, you know, so you, you have got 30, so that would be 100 and no, let's not get into 120 meters, right? So 30, no, three times four, yeah, it's 12, so that's 120 meters. Right, so the width, three mils. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if I only I could read what is on the screen. Uh, then, now, uh, here we have got the three mil, we have got the six mil, the nine mil, and the 12 mil that I've read. I know how to read even at 8, uh, 8 a.m. in the morning. 825810 is your item number, 13 pounds and 99 pence. And yes, every single one of these rolls is the equivalent of six. Uh, six standard rolls, which means, which means that you are actually have got the equivalent of 24 rolls. <laughs> I was fed at that information. Anyway, let's head back to Hazel to see the first demo of the day. Right then, I just wanted to show you the frames, okay? So I've broken it down and I've just put these two little cards together for you, just so that you can see. So these ones here, if your card is 15 centimetres wide, so that would be your 15 by 30 or your 15 by 42, there's three different sizes. Okay. And I've put that together for you and it's on the instruction sheet. So it's just a case of choosing which shape you want and scoring away. And then on this one, these ones here, these are the 15 by 30, but score, um, cut in half so that they're seven and a half centimeters. So you can cut lengthways or going down the way and that will allow you to make different size frames. And again, I've given you three sizes there. And then these ones, you'll get these three from your 20 by 40 cardstock. You'll have to cut that at 10 centimetres, so you'll get four panels from there. And that will allow you to make these ones here. So if I bring in, this one here is made from the 20 by 40. Two pieces of card, that get one for the card and one piece to make the frame. So you're not using a lot of cardstock in each one. This one is your 15 by 42. So there's your card blank, and this is in the true black, and then there's your frame. This has got a little technique on there where you scrimple the card up and rub over your Distress Oxides, which is quite nice. And then this one is from the 15 by 30. Again, two sheets, there's your card, and then one for your frame on there. And, and that's a card and a, a frame. Exactly, so if you're a card maker and the frames, they might be quite scary, but it just shows it couples up and goes across the board and it's it can be for everybody and um, if you're new and you're thinking about this bundle i would highly recommend it because you're getting all of the instructions these ones are the 20 by 40 and there's eight different card folds here so you've got your z fold you've got your pop out there oh i like that one and that can be so much more. This is that's just the basics. And There's have you used the black cards to mat it onto white? So is it the true this black? This is your yeah. true black matted onto the super smooth. You've got your gatefold. You're never going to be stuck for a different shape card again because you've got all the education there to take you through step by step. There's your easel card. The inverted stepper. I love this yeah. one. It's just such a nice shape. And then you've got your pocket fold. This, this is great for weddings. And then a little handbag style there. Oh, the lo love so that. So that's just one, one lot. And so we, we get then, all the instructions for those ones as well. All of the instructions for those. You've got your instructions for your frames with all of those sizes I mentioned. 
we've got 15 by 30 there's 10 designs on there and fully all, all laid out for you to easily follow so we've got another 10 there and then 15 by 42 is which is kind of where it all began for mr pink frog there's six on this sheet and in the same way you've got your gatefold your pop out and you'll notice a theme going on here the pop out will go and move along all three sizes you've got your trifold there yeah and it's, it's, it's great to have the Anna scorecard because it allows you every single time to create your whatever fold you want. Yeah. Um, and you'll notice, I, well, you might not notice, but I've laminated these sheets. These now are to keep in a folder and I can get my ink on them and they're not going to get wrecked. But you can see, so that is 26 different folds wow. and all of your frames. I couldn't put a number on it, but I could say easily... 250 different sizes because you wow. can chop this card off wherever you want yeah once you've got your width just chop it off to make your card so i'll show you exactly how easy it is to make a frame yeah let's have a look yeah let's just move and can you, can you show us the instructions for the friends because there's a diagram on the instructions isn't there yes so on on the instructions there shall i lay it on my mat so that you can see I take you through step by step, um, showing you how to score and where to score. There's red lines to indicate where to cut. Uh, and then this piece at the bottom is quite important, how to lay it out, which I'll show you when, in a minute when we scored it out. And then when you turn it over, you've got additional score lines. So everything that's on that board is on there so that you can easily just dip in and out to get Perfect. the information that you need. Perfect. So we'll start off with a 15 by 30 just show you the card and then you will need a scoreboard um, I'm going to be using centimeters so I started off with 15 by 30 and I've just chopped it down to get myself four panels at seven and a half centimeters ah, okay yes, I yes. if I'd have cut it that way I could have had a rectangle and I could have then chosen what length I needed the card so we'll pop it on there and we're going to score at one and a half three yeah. now i need to tell everybody that we are very very busy for the one day special so please uh do check out your baskets we are a quarter of the stock i think half of the stock oh half of the stock of the restock it's just so fast everything is happening uh now of course uh, so please do check out your baskets uh, half of the stock of the one day special the restock because it did sell out la last night so and a quarter of the restock of the complete collection as well. So be quick to make a decision and check out those baskets. Okay, so I did, um, I've done my score lines there and then I rotated round one and a half to the second score line. So when we cut this piece away, we're gonna come down to the third line yeah. and we're gonna cut at an angle ah, right. to the bottom of that score line that yes. we did. And we're gonna turn around and snip that away. If you're not confident to cut a line, you could use a ruler and a pencil to draw it first and then cut it away. Okay. And then what we need to do is pop some red liner tape on. When okay. you're making these frames, this is, you, you're going to need your red liner tape. Yeah. Which you're going to use so, so much. <laughs> now, I'm going to use 9 mil for this one. Okay. And I can honestly say to you, I use every single size in that pack. I completely b believe you because I am exactly the same. Remember that you are getting four rolls, one of each size, but each roll is equivalent of six standard five meter roll. So you are getting 120 meters in total. That means that every roll contains 30 meters. So you pop your tape on. So at this point, we're going to turn that over so that the red tape's pointing to the mat. And you're going to bring back each score line. Just one at a time. At this point, if you're going to start inking and stamping, and that's when you would do it, but we're just going to stick this together in white so that you can see. We're going to peel off the back of that tape. She says, get the end. It's always the most difficult I know, difficult my, the thing. trouble is, <laughs> my nails are so short. Oh. Let me get me tweezers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Oh, it's... it's I've yeah, got it, I've got it. 
do you know what i might even bring me glasses to the next hour <laughs> right so fold it down on the second line and bring up this piece now i've just forgotten to tell you one thing on this particular one because they're all equal panels i need to snip off a slither down this edge so it doesn't interfere with the fold only on this particular one that is so we're going to fold down on the second line and we're going to fold the bottom up that naturally finds where it needs to sit and that gives you one section with that mitre there so we're going to do the same on these ones always have the tape face down and if you follow yourself in that routine you're going to find it a lot lot easier and once you've made one or two you, you'll just you'll be doing them in your sleep and do you have a, a personally i kind of i love a scoring but if if somebody doesn't have um a scoring board can they use a, a trimmer a paper trimmer absolutely yes because you can use the tool down exactly, the little yeah. the little trail or you get the um the little slidey tools don't you see look i've done that and i've took my tape off without folding it but it doesn't matter we'll get there there we go so there's our four pieces so in the picture, it tells us to lay them out that way. So that they're, they're all going the same way. Okay. Now for this, I do use tacky glue to stick them together. And you're going to pop some tape. If I just lift it up there, pop some glue in there. And then take the second piece and just pop a little bit in the corner. And then you're going to fit that in. Okay. Push together to mitre that corner and get a nice tight finish on the corner I love, I, it, and that's nice and simple yeah on this one again i do tend to do this quite quick normally um because then when i get to the end the glue hasn't quite set so if i need to adjust i can now our director has had a really cool idea uh, and I will go a step further as well. And now he suggested to put sequins or something inside it. So when, when you kind of shake it, Rattle. it rattles a little bit. I was Very thinking, good. Very if good. you have got a die that it has like rectangles, you could even create a window with acetate. So you could create a shaker frame. That's exactly, it's such a good idea. Oh, you could use, let's see, this is a Tim. Why don't the you set a frame inside it? Yeah. Have the acetate so you can see through it, but both sides, and then you can fill it with all bits of glitters and yeah. feathers and, oh, oh. should yeah, we just go and craft? Yeah, oh. <laughs> right, there you go. That is as simple as it needs to be to make your frames. And they can be in any size that you want to. Oh, look, at how, how quick and easy was that? I mean, oh. if that was then going to go onto a card, yeah. all you would do is bring in your 15 by 30, because that's the size we chose. Yeah. You would score that at 15. And of course, if they go for the complete collection, they could do it with black, so they could have a contrast. Of course there. you can. You can mix and match and pop them all together. And again, this is where your red li liner tape will come in. Now, I've got a larger area there, so 100% I would use the 12 mil. Okay. And you would just line that around. And that's going to give a lovely, nice bond yeah. to the card. So you're not going to be worrying if it's going to be falling off and coming, coming away at the corners. You've got that perfect bond there to just go around. That. I and think that, the reason like... we did this kit, well, it, I wanted to give you all the ingredients. I call them ingredients because it's, it is like baking. Um, I wanted to give you all the ingredients you need. It, it's core cardstock. You're going to be going to it all the time. And with the education that we're giving you with it for free as well, you're, you're just not going to be, you're going to be busy, 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 busy. You can make pizza boxes. You can make handbags. You can make gift bags. You can make memory books and you can make 26 different cards there, all with that card stock. That's without even mentioning the frames. Okay. Up to probably 250 different size frames 
you'll never buy a frame again and Christmas is going to be so easy because you're just going to be creating and making your gifts like that frame that you held up at the beginning how nice would that be with a matching card and then using your 15 by 42s with them um, with Christmas coming up you know the 15 by 42 all the folds go into a, a C5 envelope or a 6 by 6 so it's your cheap postage Absolutely. Now, uh, we have had a question from Jane uh, regarding the instructions. And her question was if the one day special had contained the instructions for, to make the boxes, uh, the frame box, as well as the, um, uh, the, the, the pizza box, and as well as the folds of the, sc uh, the scarves and things like that. I, I didn't hear the first bit, okay. sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'll ask that my producer, and the question, is, you, you, and the answer is yes, you are getting the instructions with the one day special, you get the instructions with the black option, through black collection, and yes. you get the instructions as well, the same instructions for the complete collection. So whichever bundle of those ones you are gonna go for, you are gonna have the complete instructions. So there you go, that is your completed card ready to decorate. And that's as easy as it needs to be. Um, do you want me to continue on to another demo or...? Okay, fabulous. Now, I'm going to show one of those ones that you have done before, which is exactly like that, but decorated. And it, Do you decorate before or after? Um, I did it before on that one. That's a but bit. it just depends on what techniques you're going to do, really. With that one, you need to do it before. Okay. So imagine creating your own like that. Now, if to go for this is the one day special. It is an amazing collection. Now, it, of course, comes in with instructions to make frames like this and also includes the dies to create the flowers in here. Now, another idea. Yeah. So if, if the, from the director, acetate here and then you've put like a little uh, kind of fish obviously not real fish but you know you could make like a kind of you know like kind of a scene from this and you could put shells in here or something like that uh apparently no i've run it and uh, now the one day special what do you get is 10 sheets of that amazing pillar of light remember it's this is not a rainbow mirror card this one is the pillar of light and can you see it if I look at it, it has got that pile, pile, pillar there uh, and you can see the lines in there without even moving the light comes in rather, rather than being a continuous element of light. Then we have, you're getting 10 of those ones, A4. Then you have got your A3. You are getting 20 of those ones. 25 of the 12 by 12s. Remember, super smooth. We are talking about 300 GSM car stock. The t uh, 50, uh, no, sorry. Uh, 20 by 40, uh, you are getting 20, 25 of the 15 by 42, and then you are getting 50 of the 15 by 30. Now, so you are getting the six dies, which of course you can see here is the chrysanthemum dies that will be able to create something gorgeous like this, very simple, or something even more incredible, which is when you start shaping those flowers, creating that uh, absolutely gorgeous chrysanthemum. But think about using your, of course, your instructions included in the one day special to maybe create something like this frame. Right, if you want to go for this bundle, the one day special, it did sell out last night, it is back on extended delivery, 3rd of July, 45 pounds and 99 pence, you're saving 10 pounds. Now, if you want to flexify, you have got that option to flexify, spread the cost into payments. 222-775 is your item number. Then we have got a true black. Now the, the, the true black is, contains the same amount of, of car stock, uh, the same sizes, but in that true black a smooth card. Now it is 280 GSM, so it is still very, very nice for your construction, your, your die cutting, your, your base cards, your albums, but also is acid and lignin free, which means it's perfect for your memory books. You're getting 10 of the, sh uh, the uh, the pillar of light. You are also getting the, the dice as well, so the chrysanthemum dice in here. You are getting your, and your instructions of course. A3 car stock, you are getting 20 of those ones. 12 by 12, you are getting 25 of those ones. Your uh, 20 by 40, you are getting 20 of shades of that. Uh, then your 15 by 42, you are getting 25, and 50 of your 15 by 30. And then you are getting, of course, the instructions on how to do this in here. Look at that. 
It is amazing. Now, of course, you might be one that wants the black and the white and the same bundle, and one set of dice, but uh, that is the complete collection. Now, the completely collection is includes, of course, those, well, I'm not going to say how much you are getting because it's so many, but you are getting 20 sheets of the pillar of light. So you are getting 300 sheets in total, a set of dice, and of course, the instructions that you're getting. Um, now, you are getting 20 of the pillars of light, that one die set, and of course the, the other size is of the black car stock and the white super smooth. Uh, you can flex it by, now it did sell out earlier, now 30% of the uh, complete collection restock has already gone. Grab yours by checking out and the number uh, you need is 294856, that's your item number. And then of course you can, the choice is whether you flex it by, uh, so you spread the cost into three interest free payments of 28 pounds and 33 pence. Which means also that the first payment is, uh, is only a few pounds more than the first pay, the pay payment of the one day special. Um, so the first payment of the one day special would be 24 pounds on 99 pence, tw 24 pence. I always forget the pennies. Uh, anyway, so if there's your choices, and remember that they have, we are incredibly busy and they have sold out earlier. Now we have got another, uh, another amazing bundle for you, uh, and it is a happy hour deal, which means that the deal is only here for the hour. The price will go back up at 9 a.m. Now this, you're having an 18 pound saving for a full letter of collar glue. Now this is the equivalent of 10 of these bottles. And this is the usual standard size. So what you can do is like me, that you, if you have got some empty, you can refill them or you can just use it from the bottom. Color glue is an amazing glue that, that is, is one of those ones that you can apply it and it doesn't wrinkle the card. It's kind of almost like a, what I call a dry glue because when you apply it, it just doesn't wrinkle. Then you have got some um, time to maneuver your uh, placing the card stock and then when it dries, it dries rock hard. Now, of course, the other thing that I love about color glue is, is the fact that it's completely transparent, but when you put it, if you have got a little bit of excess, you can rub it off. It kind of it has got a rubbery texture. And then I need to tell you as well that not only if, if you are getting the one liter, but you are also getting two quickie glue pens, which allow you for, uh, of course, uh, gilding flakes and so much more. Now, we are very busy for this uh, bundle. 20% of the stock has already gone. And I'm not surprised. It's a saving that is almost like half price because you're saving 18 pounds and you're only paying 19 pounds and 90 pence. 065901 is your item number. And then we have got the red liner tape. Now, this is a special red liner tape because standard red liner tapes contain five meters. These, each of these rolls contains 30 meters. So it is, the, it is the equivalent of actually six, each of these rolls of six rolls of red liner tape to standard. So that is 120 meters in total. Imagine, or 24 rules of double-sided tape. Now it is a kind of the red liner tape of course you are getting the three mil, you are getting the six mil, the nine mil and the twelve mil. Thirteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price for that. Eight two five eight one zero. Now one of the things you might have said is like well we I love that you know beautiful uh, pillars of light car soap but I want to get it maybe in a larger size. Why not go for the A3 um, bundle? Now in here you are getting twenty sheets of this amazing pillar of light card is this 300 gsm and oh apparently look at that but it's like wait can you see look at that this reminds me of there is uh, art installations that are light based and then that kind of and you walk through them and also mirrors that's exactly what they reminds me Oh, that is amazing. And you know what you could do also to do something like this and put lights in here. All right, you're getting 20 sheets, our A3, and of course, you are getting instructions as well on how to make bags and boxes. 8036.25 is your item number, 19 pounds and 99 pence, making a saving of 10 pounds. And then we have got the Eyes White card. Now, this is a really, really phenomenal card. And the reason is, uh, one of the things is because it, has, of course, has got that pearl lesson nature 
but because it's a true white, even the iridescent nature is true white, it means that you can put any color on top of it and it will work through it. So imagine your, uh, your maybe your distress inks, not the oxides because they're a little bit opaque, but the uh, traditional um, distress. When you spray uh, spritz, spritz over it or when you blend your inks, the beautiful pearlescent, that luster will come through. I'm trying to show away because it's such a subtle, there you can see it there. If I put it like that, you can see it. Yes, very subtly, there it is. Now, it is a 15 by 30 and size waist, so it means that if you score it down the middle, you have got a, a just under six inches by six inches uh, car sock. Now, at 300 GSM, you are getting 50 sheets for 11 pounds and 99 pence, 5014. 99 is your item number and then we have got dyes for you of course Britannia dyes here and then of course they are beautiful uh, gorgeous leaf flourish and a small ivy these ones were the ones that they were featured in some of the gorgeous um, samples that uh, Hazel has created and I love how much snippability you have got in here perfect with chrysanthemums as well so you can layer them on top of it if you want to 757176 is your item number 13 pounds and 99 pence is your price for this set of two dice now we have got a giveaway, of course, because every hour during the family, family favorites events, we have got a giveaway. Any customer that has put up a make an order during the hour will be entered into this competition. And of course, this is what you are going to win during the hour if you are the lucky chosen one, randomly, of course, selected. Uh, now, of course, you can see that from Pink Frog uh, Crafts and the Britannian Dyes, the corner, the complete corner collection, there you have it. So a lucky winner will be announced around five minutes to the end of the hour. So therefore, uh, you know, check out your baskets as soon as you can to be eligible for that giveaway. And let's head back to Hazel to see another demonstration. Right then, so I'm going to show you with the 15 by 42 this time. And I'm just going to come along and score at 21 centimetres, which is your half fold. Okay. And this is nice because it's, it stands up, you know, if you do a tenth fold and it's that, it, it tends to, but this is a lovely nice solid yes, and what I want to do is show you how to build up the chrysanthemums on there so we're just going to make a little card I've cut myself a matte and layer to go on there so we're going to ink that but I do want to show you the dies so on here we've got our chrysanthemum set there there's six of them just count to check and then I put both the foliages on there so I'm just going to pop that and cut that through in black and I'm going to run that through and while we're doing that I'm going to start and do a little bit of inky background on here now I'm going to start off with my yellow just tap down some ink and I'll just take that out there we go so the reason I'm doing it on my heat mat is because you get more of a bobble as opposed to a puddle like a, a swoosh so add some water and then I'm just going to tap in really quite lightly to get a bit of yellow across there. And I'm just going kind of across the middle there. And I've got two or three colours to go in. So I do need to just blast that in between each one just to so it doesn't puddle. I love that, just like this, it's just, and that shows how good the super smooth card is, that you can throw a lot of water and a lot of different elements within reason, and you will have such a beautiful results. I did help it along, <laughs> I quite often do, so we'll have a little bit of blue. Now there's lots of different ways you can do this. I know Judy loves to use a piece of acetate because then she can see where it goes. This kind of gives you, you just never know what you're getting when you do it this way. But that's quite nice too. So just add a few bits to cross. Oh, look, I love that colour combination. It just, the layers are lovely. We'll wipe that away. I know that's tragic and normally I would um, pick that up on another sheet to use. So the Super Smooth is taking the ink really nicely. It's absorbed in well and once it's been on there a minute you can pat away and you're not losing that vibrancy really. It's really quite good. 
that's my I second colour. That. So look how that's coming together. Now we'll have a little bit of seedless preserves. This is quite a bright colour, so I don't want too much. I just want it in the background because my flower is going to be this colour. So. And again, that super smooth card, it just takes the colour and the heat and the water so well. It does. It's just, okay. to me, like, uh, you know, it's just one of my go-to cards, uh, the super smooth, because it gives me, I know, that I, will, I can rely on it to stamp, get these impressions, to get, of course, that beautiful watercolours uh, created with the oxides. It's just beautiful. <sighs> Look at that. And, and it makes a massive difference as well. Uh, the, the card, don't you think, Hazel, that the card that you use is so important to achieve the, these results? Absolutely, definitely. That is, ex you ca yeah, it's, without good quality cards, you, you, it's going to show, isn't it, on your finished piece. I'm going to just tap a little tiny bit of green and then we're ready to go on with the rest. Just a little bit in there, maybe up there. That's it. Right, I'm stepping away from the ink because <laughs> it's easy just to carry on and do the lot. All right, just quick, quick yeah, blast on there. Yeah. Yeah. It's just so gorgeous. And then always do the back as well. Okay. That Why just is helps that? reshape the card. Uh, another good thing here, when you've done a, an inky background like this, it's a really good idea when you're matte and laying it to use your red liner tape. Okay. And I'm going to use my 12 mil because it's bigger, so I haven't got to put so many lines down. So you are layering into the true black card. Aren't true you? black, yeah, and that's going to give it that lovely pop around the outside. Let me see if this away. And of course, the complete collection would contain, of course, the white cardstock, the super smooth white cardstock that Hazel has been using for the colours, and of course, then and the uh, the black card as well, and of course, the tr pillar of light card, 300 sheets uh, in total. The dies, the chrysanthemum dies as well, and of course, there's super valuable instructions on how to score the card and create uh, those a uh, frame um, uh, as well a uh, box. Well, is, is, do you call them frame boxes? Or or frame, you know, there's a different way of calling it. I, sometimes I can call them frame boxes because it, they look like a frame box, but maybe they can be frames. It's up to you. I like this one. Look at that one. Oh, can I say so that's just kind of okay? So we're just taking the backs of that tape off. Okay. It does help with me tweezers. <laughs> yes, it does. It makes it a, <laughs> it's nice a good job. It's got a red back. Yeah. Because it, it does mean that I can actually see it a little bit. Right, so then one, I've just used a half centimetre mat there. That looks about right. Of course, with red liner tape, you only get one chance because it's super, super sticky. Yeah. But now that's given me a nice solid background to layer onto my card there. Now I will go with my glue because I know that I've got that nice flat Okay. And of course, remember that that is the happy hour deal. Uh, if you want to go for that one, is of course you are getting a full liter, not the smaller bottle, but the one a liter of it, which is the equivalent of ten of those bottles. And of course, those two quickie glue pens. Details on the screen. Brilliant. Okay, so we'll pop back to the front, and now just just a bit of a rub there to disperse that glue over. Right, I'm going to set that to one side while we work on the chrysanthemums. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've cut them in the super smooth and I've got all of my colours but I wanted to show you if I bring this card in how full this chrysanthemum wow. is and the depth and dimension that you can get there and that's what I want to demonstrate. Wow. So yeah it looks like I've got a lot of flowers there but once we start layering them it's just like whoa they, you can get so many different looks from them. They are gorgeous. And it's lovely to use I like the 15 by 42 that half fold is, is, is lovely. Yeah it is. Isn't it? So I've got these in piles and I've got four of everything apart from the smaller two I've just popped two in. Okay. So all you'll need is some tacky glue 
start off with the big one and just roll across. Oh, I see. From side to side. And they start side. to yep. curl in. Okay, so we we'll get. And, and uh, does the it next. help having a very large ball You need a tool. big. You, without sounding rude, you do need a big ball tool. There you go. <laughs> I was trying to be so <laughs> careful about it. I was like, you know, just be What's careful what you're saying. So a little bit of glue in the centre. Offset it. When you're happy, push in with the ball tool. Get the next one. And again, I've got a scratchy on my tool. There we go. And then a little bit of glue. Okay. And have you used oxides to colorize the flowers as yes, well? Yes, okay. indeed. Yeah. Look at me, I'm getting confused now. So oh, look at that. And I, I guess did. if you shape them the other way around, uh, you know, then you will have another shaped flower as well, you know, mixing this, the shape. Of course, yeah. I mean, this one here I've got, I've curled it right up, look. And that's using the Ice White Card 300 GSM. But look at the kind of looks. This could go that. inside here, look, and really fill it up oh. and give it a completely different look. So it, you, you just oh, play and see how you go. Yeah. Glue, next layer. Now, I'm not lining this up too much now because I don't need to. I, I want it to be... I even a button inside it. That would be really cool. That would look lovely. And then I'll go on to the next layer. So you can see, because we're putting lots of layers in, that's going to really fatten it out and give us lots of dimension. And if okay. if you just have it and just keep sticking them in as you go along, you see it grow before your eyes. That's gorgeous. And I'm thinking because if you wanted to do a smaller flowers, you just don't use the largest of the die cuts? Yeah. And at the same technique? So I like doing um, maybe one bigger one and then a couple of different smaller ones. Um, and it's just nice to see all the different sizes. Just keep giving it a push in the middle, and then you can kind of push down with your fingers. So that's two. I think I did. I miss that one. Oh, yeah. All right. And again, right. but very easily, you can see it's coming together. Yeah, it's very quickly, and it's so effective. And also, that double end tool is a really good. <laughs> <laughs> right I'll try and speed these ones up for you so I'll use the biggest one but I'm just going to go round look and now I've got smaller I can do that I couldn't before just split that one. and then that will be easier to come together so again a little bit of glue okay I look at that I just love it Love it. And I kind of forget, you, then you can create any colour flower. Any colour, yeah. The, 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 how, how many it's freedom, sizes you isn't it? Do it? Because there is, a, uh, it is six, six sizes, so you have got six uh, sizes, right? So you could do it, uh, I would say, six different size flowers. Because you could die cut multiple of even the smaller ones to create the smallest ones of them. Of course, mm -hmm. yeah, you could keep them all the same size or just mix and match yeah. them up. Right, that's coming together nicely. I'm just going to put a couple of these smaller ones in. I might miss out a layer. I might keep a few back. Right, we have got a winner for the giveaway for the hour. Uh, so we will be announcing oh, you know, very shortly. Uh, now, what they have one. That's the corner dots. Okay. We're nearly there, I promise. Okay. And then with the foliage, it's nice to just give that a little shape on your mat as well. Just to get, again, just to give yeah. it a little bit of dimension. Just keep pressing down each time and it gives you that Perfect. full yeah, fullness. Cut, yeah. 
Uh, now, Hazel, we have got about a minute or so to the end of the show, and I want to announce the winner of, of course, uh, that giveaway. Elaine, Christopher, congratulations. You have won and the giveaway, the family favorites, Pink Frog uh, Crafts giveaway. And this is uh, going your way, the beautiful collection of corner slides. Right, let's join back to Hazel to see exactly the last, uh, the last two minutes or three minutes. We don't know anymore. How are we doing? <laughs> three minutes. Did three you say minutes. two minutes? Yeah, two minutes, yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, so I've just bought my card in. I haven't quite finished Love putting that. the rest of the flowers yeah. in, but I did cut the flowers in black, and I just wanted to offset my foliage yeah. just to, so it stands out a little bit more. So have you coloured the green leaves with oxides onto Again, a smooth yes. card? Yes, yes. it's mm -hmm. mowed lawn onto the super smooth, and I'm just going to slightly offset oh. that one, and it's just going to give it that little... So that it just Challenge. lifts it more mm -hmm. on your card. And then I think I did an ivy as well. And I absolutely adore these foliages. And they look so lovely all mixed together. Yeah. And there is a lot of a snippability as well because you can trim off parts of, of those branches and make it into more of a different shape uh, element as well. Right, we have got one minute to the end of the show. Can you finish it? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes we'll try our Never doubt you. Never doubt you. Okay. So all I'm going to do, okay. we um, might move that one off. Bit of glue behind there. My ivy smoothed a little bit, but we'll be fine. Bit of ivy. And then you could use some glue gel. Oh, you are doing it. We have got seconds to go, and I just want to remind everybody to check out their baskets. Uh, now, of course, you, Hazel will show us the finished sample. There it is. You can see it perfectly beautiful. Now, remember to check out your baskets, whether it's for the one day special or the complete collections. Remember that they sell out. We managed to get some stock back in, in standard delivery, so do grab yours by 60% of the one day special gone now. So, check your baskets out. We have got a jewelry box, family favorites, beautiful jewelry coming out. Do stay tuned for that. Then we have got the family favorites, bobbin patch, and, and then with some bad eggs. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, Use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. 
So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain.